Hello everyone, I've um, been looking at filters, they seem to be all sorts of prices, but do you really get what you pay for, or can you get away with buying something a bit cheaper? Now I've looked at these newer uh, filters, currently on Amazon, and they're not terribly expensive. Um, for three filters, an ND4, 8 and 16, it's around about £25 delivered, which I thought was a pretty good price. But is it too cheap? Does it mean they're going to be no good? Or is it a waste of money? And am I going to regret the purchase? They certainly look good from um, what they're advertising on the site. So I thought, let's have a look. Let's order them up. So, twenty-three ninety-nine. What will it get us? Well, next day they arrived via Amazon Prime uh, mid-morning, and uh, this is what was in there. It's a tiny little box. Um, it says on the back all the different uh, filters, but the ones I've purchased this pack is only for a 4, 8 and 16. And uh, it's got its own little carrying case, which is uh, pretty good. I'm filming this one-handed, which is why I'm struggling to get it out of the box. Um, should have set it up on the tripod really, but there you go. So in the box, uh, comes a little leaflet which I thought might be instructions um, however they're not instructions it's actually a uh, thank you for purchase uh, guide in about uh, five or six different languages as you can see here 100% satisfaction and if you're not email vip at newer.com and I'll do my best to sort it out fantastic okay so nice little um, plastic box uh, feels quite heavy actually for what it is. Uh, let's have a quick look inside. Again, trying to do this all one handed. And, uh, yeah, not the easiest of things to do. There, we've got it. Okay, inside the box is a, uh, a rubberized uh, mounting system where the uh, lenses sit. Now, this rubberized uh, mounts are also magnetic. So uh, when you uh, try and snap the, uh, the lenses down, they don't have to fit tightly. As you can see, that they're not really being held in by anything. They are actually magnetically held into the case itself, which is really nice touch. And oh my God, these things are tiny. It's so fiddly. It's really quite difficult to uh, pick them up without putting your fingers on the uh, on the lens itself. So uh, probably going to be an idea to have a bit of a uh, cleaning cloth to hand. Um, that way uh, you're not going to mess them up. And you can see there's the magnetism there. So I tried to get it out. But um, they are very, very tiny. Very tiny. Um, quite surprising actually. We've got big fat fingers like myself. Um, you might find it a little bit of a task. But uh, yeah, overall... Um, they feel quality, they feel like a nice build, um, they're nice and smooth, no sharp edges on them, which again is uh, important if you're trying to fit them onto your lens, because they, they do attach to the Osmo pocket um, magnetically. So let's test them out. Uh, this is the J Osmo pocket at uh, 4K, 60 frames a second, and uh, as you can see, overexposure is uh, quite considerable. Everything's blown out, the blacks are not black, the grass is blown out, and all the leaves on the plants, you can see, are completely gone. So let's crack on the uh, first filter. Okay, there you go, it just magnetically attaches, and here we go again. It's the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket 4K, 60 frames a second with an ND4 filter. And now you can see that that's brought down all of the highlights, apart from a few at the back. Um, so you can still see that that's slightly overexposed. So let's remove that. And now on to the next one. You see the overexposure is quite considerable on this. Lots of bright whites. So now it's the ND8 filter. Now you see this has brought it down. This is probably more consistent with the actual um, the day itself. It was quite overcast but there was quite a lot of bright sunlight behind the clouds that uh, came over so often. Now this to me looks as though probably it's the um, the best out of the, the two so far. 
So let's take this one off and then put on an ND16. See how much that changes the uh, the image. So again, just so as you can see how bright everything is. It's quite considerable. So I'm going to pop on the ND16. And knock the lens a little bit there. So now you can see everything's quite dark. Um, probably over dark. So it's a little bit too much, but it gives you an idea uh, of what we're dealing with with the filters. And I can't see any distortion on any of the lenses so far. They all look nice and sharp all around. It doesn't seem to be any curvature or uh, any distortion at all. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So let's um, compare them all side by side. So as you can see, working our way from left to right, there's no filter then the ND4, the ND8 and the ND16. And I think the ND8, um, in my opinion, um, is probably the one that I would use more um, for today. So we blow it up 300%. You can see there with no filter how it's all blown out. Images are way overexposed. So then we move on. Looking at the uh, ND4, again, as you can see, looks quite reasonable. And then on to ND8. And bear in mind these 300%. Haven't slowed it down at all, 60 frames a second. And then the ND16. Again, 300%, 60 frames a second. It's not slowed down in any way. So what do you think? So if you're wondering why you need ND filters, well, just think of ND filters as neutral density. And uh, basically they're sunglasses for your camera. Now there might be occasions where you want to have a shutter speed of 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second for more cinematic looks and to do that you're going to need to drop the shutter down to about 1 60th or 1 1 20th depending on what you're on. So if you switch the shutter down to 1 60th outside it's going to make it very overexposed. So that's where the filters come in, they give you back control. And also, if you're looking to do some of the clever light trail images or photos or even video uh, that the DJI has uh, been showing in their ads, then you're going to need an ND filter just to bring that light down for the long exposure times that it's going to take. So, what do you think? Do you think these are worth it or do you think they're a waste of money? Let me know in the comments below and uh, if you love this video give me a thumbs up if you hated it give me a thumbs down and as usual hit that subscribe button it really helps me grow the channel i will catch you on the next one